I will show you how to make simple dessert and we will need all we need is actually a puff pastry you can buy in a frozen section uh, you normally keep it frozen and then about 40 minutes before you want to start making working with it you just thaw it so I already did so here we have some apples now these uh, this box has two sheets uh, I want to try only half of the uh, box so that means one of the sheets I will use uh, and the other half I want to try with a different recipe so for one of the sheets I think I will need just four apples but we will see I might need more I'm not sure now uh, then we will need some marmalade here I have a blueberry marmalade you can use any other you want or you can also use peanut butter and we will have we will need one egg and some flour so I'll show you how to do this and we call this apples in the blanket it's funny because in Czech the name is apples in a bathrobe but <laughs> it sounds kind of funny and I think you will more be familiar if I say apples in the blanket so this is what we are going to do now first thing we will do is to take the core out the middle out I'm using this amazing tool so I start on the other side and let's hope it will come out the right way yep perfect let's get this out now we have a really nice hole in there so let's I will do all four of them and now let's fill up the apples uh, you want to use the smallest apples possible because this way uh, you just can use more of the dough so let's fill up the my apple just like that I'm sure it will be really good with peanut butter I'll try a couple with peanut butter in Czech Republic we are not really used to eat peanut butter but I kind of Americanize this recipe so I put the peanut butter so now let's wrap these apples I'll put a little bit of flour on the bottom now let's grab the one sheet of a puff pastry it's still a little frozen but it should be okay I'll put a little bit of flour on top make sure it doesn't stick let's roll it a little bit wow this is so it's frozen almost <laughs> now it's going now just want to have it a little thinner Okay, uh, I want to cut a little piece off because that's what I will be using for the top. Now I'll just cut this sheet four pieces. So if you use the whole uh, puff pastry uh, package, you will need eight apples now you wrap it like that take all four corners wrap it like this and now we have this long, long strip here so what we are going to do 
I'll cut a little square. And now we have an egg, one egg that you just mix up like this. And I'll put it on the top because this will help to stick this on the top. Make it a little nicer. And now you want to put the egg all over this apple. I'll pick it up just like that. This will make it nice and crunchy. See, isn't it pretty? I'll wait when you see how it will come out. And I have here a baking pan that I put a parchment paper and we'll just set it up on top of it. And we will bake it on 350. Aren't they pretty? It's so cute. A little apples in a blanket. So now we will bake it. Look how pretty they look. So I baked it for 25 minutes. Uh, oven was 350. And now let's transfer this on the plate. Be very careful. You don't want to eat it while it's this hot. Because you'll burn yourself. The apple will be... Uh, pretty hot. But we want to transfer this to the plate and let's put some powdered sugar on. So let's put the powdered sugar so it looks beautiful. Look at that. And that was so simple to do. If you make it, everybody will think you are a master chef. So let's get the <laughs> I missed completely. 